What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So the season nine update has officially been released to I, I well actually pretty much everyone. I think the Garena was actually the last uh, version to get the update surprisingly given the fact that at least in a historical standpoint, you know, the global version has always received the update at the very end. And keep in mind, um, you know, we usually receive updates probably around like two days before the season begins, maybe one day. But this time around, I, I guess they decided to just release the update completely early. But I'm actually starting to think that this may have been a mistake. I mean, yes, for the first time in a while, we got the update. Well, sp specifically a major update very early. But there is there are some things in this update that kind of just is just throwing people off and probably one of the ones that we do need to discuss and this is something that i'm sure everyone right now is currently experiencing is the sprint to fire speed nerf and i'm not i'm not going to say that this is like an intended feature i'm not really that sure but yes the sprint out speed for this game currently is just atrocious so i'm sure some of you guys the moment you guys booted up the game and started a match you guys probably noticed it right away you started sprinting you know heading to a certain objective or something or you know you know maybe you just came across someone up front and you noticed that when you're picking up your gun it just took a very a much more longer than usual time to raise it and just aim for me this happened or i guess i noticed i started noticing this when i was in the training room and that's typically what i do whenever there's a major update i always go to the training room to test all the different weapon changes and yeah, I mean, I started using the CX-9 first and I noticed that the ADS speed was, you know, surprisingly slower than normal. And I started to assume that, okay, well, maybe the CX-9 has some sort of like just very shitty sprint out speed. But then I just started practicing with other weapons and I noticed the same thing. I mean, the sprint out times were just awful all around, no matter what weapon you were using. I think the only weapon class that was not really affected that much was probably the snipers. But when it comes to LMGs, SMGs, and ARs, I just noticed it immediately. And, you know, even just playing, you know, I have like maybe like an hour and 10 minutes of footage. It is very, very jarring. And keep this in mind. I mean, the sprint to fire speed right now currently is more or less the same with every weapon class. Again, uh, excluding snipers. I mean, if I use an SMG, uh, the sprint out time is more or less the same as it is if you're using an assault rifle. So, yeah, I don't know what's actually going on right there. I mean, I have seen a lot of, you know, responses on Twitter or I guess, you know, tweets from Twitter, not responses. I never made anything about that. But yes, uh, I've been seeing a lot of like posts, you know, talking about this issue, uh, quote unquote issue, because I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure if this is some sort of intended implemented thing that they did. But again, I mean, if it was something that was intentional, why isn't it affecting the snipers? Unless maybe they forgot to put it on the snipers. I'm not really that sure. But I mean, yeah, I used my XPR. I mean, it was working just fine, but everything else just felt shit. And I felt like of all the weapons that got hit with this, I think the Growl actually got hit the hardest. Um, especially if you use that legendary skin. Oh my god, it feels like it feels like you put three of the Archangel barrels together on that gun. And it just feels extremely heavy when there it shouldn't be. And Maddox, I think as well, might have been hit pretty hard. Um, I mean, you guys could see from the gameplay right here, just picking it up just feels extremely slow. And I'm not using any heavy attachments at all. I'm even using the Task Force Quick Draw Grip and it still feels that way. I mean, if you're keeping a close eye on the footage, uh, you could kind of just tell that I'm struggling a little bit. You know, I'm trying to like readjust the pacing, all that stuff, because it feels weird across every gun. I mean, there are a few guns out there. I mean, I will admit that don't really have that effect. I mean, the AK-47 isn't that bad. I would say probably the one that's like the least affected is probably the Peacekeeper. I mean, that one feels normal, but yeah, the Maddox and the Growl, I mean, they feel the worst. There was also like a scrapyard hardpoint map that I was playing on in, in, I guess, one of the clips in this footage. And I did notice that also that weapon just seems to be fine. So yeah, I think it's like just a certain amount of weapons that are like affected, but it feels like it's most of them. And I tried different methods to at least try to alleviate this issue. 
And, you know, I even asked my friends, the ones I was playing with in, in, you know, the footage that you're seeing, I was asking them, hey, like, are you guys feeling this? Like, I even tell them to look at the final kill cam to, sh like, to show them how slow it is. And it kind of took them a while to notice it, but, I mean, if, you know, if they're playing the game, I mean, I would assume that they would notice it as well. And one of them actually did, uh, my friend GPG, um, fuck, Game Dog, <laughs> I forgot his name. But yes, uh, yeah, Game Dog was basically telling me like, yeah, there feel, there it, there seems to be like this half second delay. Weirdly enough, I mean, we did get an update uh, last night that was like around maybe a hundred some megabytes, and I thought that was gonna be the fix for it, but no, um, like it it only fixed some of it, or like it only partially fixed it. But yeah, I mean, the sprint out time, I don't know what's going on with it. It's extremely slow. I've tried using Agile. I've tried, you know, using faster builds, even MIP lasers, anything that would give me any sort of sprint to fire advantage. But no, it's just it's just the same all around. And look, again, if this is an, uh, an intentional implemented feature, because I mean, yes, to bring up the gun, like the animation is slightly different from like last season and I guess the seasons prior. Um, I don't know. I think they might have made the animation a little too slow by accident. I'm not really that sure. Or maybe again, like maybe this is actually a full on intended feature, but at the same time, I mean, you could have at least told us. I don't really know what to say. I mean, I know we're very close to the Warzone mobile release date. I mean, I mean, if you guys have seen the recent season six update for that game, it looks absolutely insane. Looks a lot more completed than, you know, the previous season. So I don't know, maybe this is their way of like telling us that, you know, they want us to kind of get adjusted to like the slower movements of that game. Because as you guys know, I mean, the sprint out time for those Modern Warfare games are a lot slower, uh, pretty much almost matching what we're seeing right now. And it wouldn't really be out of the realm of possibility, given the fact that, I mean, they've kind of added a few uh, Modern Warfare 2 features. I mean, other than that, you know, that UAV call-in UI that you see like on the you know, like right there with the advanced UAV. Um, I mean, they've also added, you know, stuff like where your gun kind of tilts, which is a Modern Warfare 2 feature whenever you're, you know, strafing from like one side to the other. So it just like, again, like I'm not saying that this is abs absolutely some sort of implemented feature, but it can be. But don't worry, guys, um, you know, if they fix it, they fix it. If they don't, if they give us a better explanation of this, and this is a permanent thing, so be it. But yeah, I mean, a little heads up, you know, would have been nice. And keep in mind, guys, also, it does pretty much affect every input, whether you're, you know, just playing touchscreen or, you know, mouse and keyboard and controller. It's all, it's the same across the board. So yeah, let me know how you guys are dealing with this currently right now. If you guys have some sort of fix, let me know. Maybe there's a way that we could maneuver around this until it's fixed or not. I mean, again, we probably have to wait until the season begins where they have that post. I'm sure someone's going to mention it. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. And I'll see you guys next time.